Hey guys, I wanted to do just a quick video and show you these two layouts that I did the other day um, using the same paper line and different layouts but the same paper line and they are both pictures of dogs that we have had um, in our lives. They were the light of our lives. Um, this was Fletcher, our Weimaraner, and this was when we rented a place up on the hill surrounded by woods and he loved to have his picture taken. As soon as he would see the camera, he would pose. It was the funniest thing. I cut this brown paper a little bit smaller than the 12 by 12 so that it would leave a border on the top and the bottom. And um, this one was actually the second one that I did. So there were off cuts that I used on here that I got from the first one, but I wanted to start with this one just because it's simpler and um, thought it would be a good place to start. But I don't usually use flowers on layouts with a male in the photo, but since it was our dog and he looks good in everything, why not? Hmm. So I used the brushed corduroy uh, ink and I did use the or this distress ink and I used the um, ink tool, blending tool, to apply that, which I don't usually do. I usually just go straight from the ink pad to the paper because I care, I like the um, heavier line that you get that way. But on this layout, I did use the blending tool for a more subtle ink line on the edges. These are just some cheap bling that I got at Joann's a while back. They were on sale. Just used three of them there to accent because this was sort of plain here and I wanted it to go in this diagonal so it made sense to put them here and it sort of helped do a little something over here. I titled this one Sitting Pretty because like I said he would always sit really pretty and let me take his picture. This little tag here I just cut out using my little tag punch that I have um, and this jute rope or twine or whatever you want to call it I got at Michael's a little while back. These little wood veneer trees I love. I cut the little trunk off that big tree because I just think the trunk on it looks so tiny compared to how big and fat that tree is that I think it looks funny so I always cut it off. Um, just use some little enamel dots and some sequins to sort of give it a little bit of pop and that was that one. And then this is the second one and this is of our dog Emma. And she was a miniature schnauzer, and this is um, a picture that we took in our backyard of our house that we have now. And I titled this one Fluffy Pup because she was due for a haircut in this picture, so she was very, very fluffy there, as you can see. I did some more layering on this one. Um, same paper line, like I said. This one is a true 12 by 12. I did, did take some of the little trimmings from the papers and put them here at the bottom and use my tiny attacher to attach those. And then I made this banner actually using this punch, which I bought a long time ago at Ollie's and never had a use for. It's like a champagne bottle and a champagne flute or whatever. The banner I made using the bottle part of the punch and I just folded this top part over and then I used the tiny attacher to attach it as I folded it over onto the um, line and then I just use some washi tape to attach it to the back so and I did ink up everything on here with the same distress ink but I did not use the blending tool on this one so that's why there's a much heavier ink edge on everything but that's what I prefer um, I like the little shadow in this picture too. I think it's cute. <laughs> you can even see the little ears in the shadow, which is just adorable. Um, I used the chit chat, the craft stickers here um, for sweet girl and I treasure you. And this first arrow here is a sticker that was on the sticker sheet with the alphabet um, stickers. And then this stamp here is the one I used down here at the bottom and this stamp is the one they used right here and that's from the cut and paste my mind's eye stamp set so again I'll put some pictures at the end so you can see it 
um, but I wanted to keep this pretty short, um, hoping that it doesn't take forever to upload. So I'm really enjoying using my iPad and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and I hope everybody has a fabulous weekend. My hubby has a cold, so I'm thinking that we're going to just be spending most of the weekend sort of cuddled up together, watching movies and Netflix and whatnot. So that'll be fun. So again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day and a weekend. All right, bye-bye.